Hey there, in this video, I thought I'd do a, a short little book review of um, Happy Sexy Millionaire by Stephen Bartlett, Unexpected Truths About a Fulfillment, Love and Success. Um, it's an absolutely brilliant book. I've literally just finished reading it. I've been reading it the last uh, week or so. Um, he's done it again. I mean, Stephen Bartlett, like literally everything he does, he seems to um, be outstanding at. Um, I'll just read out the blurb on it. So it's happy, sexy millionaire. This is my intervention. As an 18 year old black, broke, lonely, insecure university dropout from a bankrupt family, I wrote in my diary that I wanted to be a happy, sexy millionaire by the age of 25. By 25, I was a multimillionaire having created a business worth over $300 million. Ironically, in achieving everything I set out to, I learned that I was wrong about almost everything that the world had allowed to me it lied to me about how you attain fulfillment, love and success, why those things matter and what those words actually mean. Um, it's a, it is a great book. Um, congratulations, Stephen. Um, really impressed with the quality of, um, of, of the book and how you've written it. Probably shouldn't be surprised because everything you, you do is, is, is excellent. Um, but what I, what I really like about this, it's, it's really interesting that someone who um, is relatively young, you know, he's only 28, he started his business 10 years ago at the age of 18, um, built up a company called Social Chain, um, which on the face of it is, is quite a simple um, business idea, but um, it's only simple in hindsight, is that he and his colleagues, um, they set up a, a company where what they would do is they would... Uh, find people who had large followings on large number of followers on social media and they would pay them to help them amplify the reach of, of marketing messages or brand messages on behalf of um, other companies. Um, so they built an agency off the back of that. So the social chain was the chain of social media accounts that they could um, they could call upon. So they had their own social media accounts. They would um, pay other people to, to promote messages on their behalf. Um, they would create new accounts and they would buy accounts so, so they could guarantee that when a brand or a company came to them and said, look, we want to, want to reach X number of people, uh, the social chain agency could guarantee that they would, those messages would, would get out there to that certain number of people. So um, he built up that company. He's made that very successful, made it into, um, I would say, Europe, well, I think it is Europe's hottest social media agency in, in recent years. And then surprised everyone um just last year that he uh, that he quit he, he left at the top as the ceo of this this company as it as it um as he floated the company um surprised a lot of people but actually when you know when you know what he's like and the way he thinks it's not that surprising and he explains his thinking behind that in, in the book but um what i really really like about this book is it's not just someone, um, not just theoretical, you know, this is someone who um, real hands-on practical tips and advice based on his own experience. So how he has achieved a um, huge amount of success in a relatively short space of time, um, his unique way of thinking, um, his attitude and his aptitude, how he's been applying um, the, these ideas and other people's ideas into, into his daily life to achieve the success that he, that he set out to do. And it just shows, um, I guess, the, the importance of having goals and um, being really focused on, on achieving those goals. But it's, 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 it's proof that you, know, you can achieve amazing things if you really are focused on that. Um, but at the, at the same time, he does talk about the downsides of that. You know, uh, he's neglected certain things to, to get to where he is. And it's only now, once he's achieved his aims, he's realized that um, he was maybe looking in the wrong in the wrong places for, for certain things. And, and he's, and actually, um, when he talks about happy, sexy millionaire, really he's saying now that um, happy, being fulfilled, sexy, love, um, millionaire, success. And what does success mean? It means different things to different people. Um, he talks a lot about intrinsic values versus extrinsic values. So intrinsic values are things that are really important to you. Uh, what's important to you, what makes you happy and feeling fulfilled. Um, 
and often you do these things just because you love doing them. You're not, you're not getting rewarded for them necessarily. It's just something in you that makes you happy when you do these things. Um, and how can you do more of those things versus the extra extrinsic values, the things that other people tell you you should do or um, is expected of you. So things like uh, what your parents want you to do, what, what, your, um, what your friends, what your family, what your loved ones, what your boss, what society expects of you. And often those extrinsic values, um, especially in a social media world, when you feel like, um, oh, I need to look like that, or I need to behave like that in order to be happy. Um, but it's because you, you feel like that's what's expected of you and that's what other people are doing. So oh, I'll, I'll be happier when I, I achieve this. Um, and if you're doing that in the pursuit of something that other people um, say you should be doing or society tells you, you should be doing, or you're doing it purely just for the, for the money, um, you won't necessarily be happy or fulfilled when, when you chase those, those things. And uh, that's basically what he's saying is that um, he bought into understanding because he was from that social media world. He thought that uh, the route to happiness was all these things, you know, having a flash car, having lots of money, having dating beautiful women. Sounds like a horrible life, doesn't it, uh, Stephen Bartlett? But um, he's done all of that, and then he's realised actually, um, he was, he's not, he's, he's not a different person to to now to when he was when he was eighteen. Um, and the things, it's a bit of a cliche, but the best things in life are free. You know, you can choose to be happy anytime you want. You can find love. Uh, you can feel find fulfillment if you if you get really clear on what it is that you love doing and what makes you happy, and and this is something that I'm really passionate about is um, uh, being spending a lot of time trying to understand uh, those things about myself, but also helping other people understand what makes them happy too. Um, on the other on one hand, you could say that it's a bit rich that someone who was been successful, made his millions, built up this company, is now telling other people um, that uh, being rich and being successful isn't going to make you happy. Yes, you could say that, um, it, but he's not the first person to say that. There are a lot of very successful, rich uh, people throughout history who um, they hit, they hit their goals, they achieve their aims, and they get there, and they actually they're no happier than they were or they feel still feel a bit empty inside or they feel unfulfilled and it's because they were they were so fixated on the the goal um and, and achieving that at all costs that they were neglecting all kinds of other things around them and then they realized that um the, there are other things in life that are more important um, than just fame or, or money um so i do think it's really good that he that he is speaking out now um, he is speaking out about the downsides of um, social media, the, the negative aspects of how it's making people stressed or it's making people depressed or it's making people unhappy and, and pursuing things that are unachievable. Um, and if you're always feeling like, um, if you're not happy where you are now and you feel like happiness is over there and, and um, the, the bigger the gap between where you are now and where you think you should be, the, the more stressful and unhappy you're going to be. Um, so that I guess that's the trick that all of us have to find is how to find contentment where we are now, uh, who we are now, um, because you can choose to be happy today. You don't, you don't have to say, I'll be happy when. You can choose to be happy right now. Um, so I think it is an important book. I think it's a really great book, really well written. Um, Stephen is a fantastic speaker. Um, he, he spoke on day one, inspiration of uh, my Newcastle Startup Week Festival in 2019, the last physical event that we did. And he, he was world-class. I think everybody who saw him speak that day um, remembers it, um, was blown away by what, what an amazing speaker he was, had the audience in the palm of his hand. Um, really, really proud that, that I could bring him to, to the audience here in Newcastle. And I know that he loved speaking as well. Um, some of the comments he said online afterwards and, and in person were, were amazing. Um, it, was, it was great to see just how excited people were to, to meet him and hear him speak. 
um, and the messages that he was saying um, back then, I guess were kind of the beginnings or, or kind of to where he is now of, of the way he was thinking uh, now, um, because he talked a lot about his personal journey and the struggles and to get the way he is now, but then he ended it with some tips and advice on, on what was coming next in uh, social media and, and business. Um, his Diary of a CEO is a brilliant podcast. I've been listening to that from the beginning, I think. Um, and uh, you can tell just the way he thinks and, the, and a very deep thinker, uh, reads a lot, really into philosophy, really into psychology, really into business. Um, and that's another thing I love about the book as well. He does, um, he does reference a lot of great uh, research and books. Um, so it's not just his thoughts. He, he backs up everything he says with science and, um, and research and psychology and philosophy. I was surprised how often um, he talks about stoicism. Uh, pleasantly surprised because I'm really into stoicism myself. Um, so it was great to see him uh, uh, referring to Marcus Aurelius and Seneca quite, quite a lot on there and other, other great um, books and philosophers and, and thinkers. So um, yeah, I, I would highly recommend reading the book. Um, it is brilliant. I think it's an important book, like I say, um, and very timely as well as, um, so check it out. Um, let me know what you think. And um, yeah, uh, if you want to see me do more book reviews like this, um, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, let me know in the comments underneath um, any other books that you think I should uh, do a review of. I've got lots of books behind me. Uh, I'm going to try and do more of these as well. But yeah, once again, well done, Stephen. Love your book. Really impressed and uh, hope we can do something again together um, sometime in the future. All right. Cheers. Bye.